Hey guys, so I have a little haul of new goodies. Um, they're gonna all eventually be reviewed on the blog. Uh, that was pretty much my purpose for getting these things. Um, oh, and I'm gonna throw this in in there too. I got this uh, eczema. Ex oh my god, I can't talk tonight. The Avino eczema therapy cream, and I've just been using it like a hand lotion because my hands were so gross, and it has been helping so much with. They're not nearly as dry as they were. Like I get it all between my fingers for some reason, uh, on this hand anyway, and then on this hand it's all right here. Um, but this has, out of all the stuff I've used, this has shown the most improvement and I've already used like this much of it, it's down here. For freaking, this is like 12 bucks I think, they should give you more than 7.3 ounces, especially when it's something I need to use every day. Um, Alright, so there's a bunch of lip products to show you swatches of and... I guess I'll talk about this one first. I, um, one of my recent videos, I talked about the L'Oreal Visible Lift CC Cream, and in my blog, I kind of did a L'Oreal versus Almay CC Cream, um, review. This is the Almay Smart Shade CC Cream. This one has an SPF of 35, which is really good. Uh, the L'Oreal had uh, SPF of 20. Um, this one, again, smells like sunscreen. I don't think you're going to get away from that with these products because they're basically sunscreens for your face. I got this in the shade light. Um, the L'Oreal one was light medium because I they didn't have light. I don't even know if they make a plain light one. Um, so the major difference with this one is that it is pigmented right off the bat. Like you can see that it's got color to it. The other one is white and it has little beads of color that kind of come out once you blend it into your face. But the L'Oreal one didn't do much for me. Like I said, it broke me out. Um, this one I like better than the L'Oreal. It, uh, it didn't leave me as shiny as the L'Oreal one did. It, uh, it's a little bit thinner so it's easier to blend in. And you can see, like, it corrects the redness in my face as soon as I blend it in and everything, where the L'Oreal one didn't do that so much. I mean, it helped my redness a little bit, but you could still see that I, I always have red cheeks. <laughs> and I, I don't have rosacea or anything. I'm just always blushing and I don't know. Um, I always have redness, like, right here, pretty much. And with the Almay one, it doesn't cover it completely but it definitely helps and the L'Oreal like I said it pretty much didn't do anything for me so um the L'Oreal one claims to I don't think I mentioned this in the other video that I did it has five age correcting actions it claims to reduce the appearance of age spots spots and dark spots even skin tone brightens dull complexion smooth skin texture and firm skin which is basically something that you're not going to see results unless you're using it over maybe a month or so's time but I'm not going to keep using that just because it broke me out like that and the Almay one doesn't have any of those claims it just says uh, where is it face makeup that instantly perfects and visibly corrects so that one pretty much does what it says because it definitely helps with the color correction um, so enough about that I will go on to the lip products. Um, I don't know which ones I should show first. I guess I'll do these. Um, way back, I think it was the beginning of summer, I did a haul video and I had been looking everywhere for the new colors of the Revlon lip butters. The only one I got was Juicy Papaya because all the other ones in the display were like messed with and that was pretty gross. So this was the Juicy Papaya one. Uh, kind of like the orangey coral color. And I had a couple issues with it, like a lot of people did. It wasn't, for some reason, it didn't have the same texture as the original lip butters. Like, I love the Revlon lip butters, and that one's, 
it wasn't as smooth and it kind of didn't have that same vanilla scent to it. Um, but I found out that the other three colors that were released at the beginning of summertime, um, they're going to be permanent now and so is the Juicy Papaya one, but these are the other three. I picked them up um, because I had gone crazy looking for them and couldn't find them when they first came out. Um, pink Lemonade, which is like super light, pretty much just goes on clear. I don't know why I got this one. But again, they're, these are smoother, um, smooth and creamy like the originals, but they kind of lack that scent that the original ones had. So I don't even know if you can see that one, but it's a light, 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 light pink that you don't get any color payoff unless you go over your lips a million times with it. There is uh, Wild Watermelon, which is a red. And this one's kind of splotchy. I don't know if it's just because it's been so hot and they're like melty. There we go, that's a better swatch of it. It looks much brighter in the tube than it does when it's swatched. It's kind of just like a mellow, muted down red color. It's good for people who like like the color red on your lips, but like me, can't really rock red lips. I, do, I just think it looks horrible on me. Um, and then the last one, which is my favorite, is Sorbet, which is yet another bright pink color. And this one is kind of like the Juicy Papaya, where it's got a drier texture for some reason. I don't know if they've changed it or what, but the one on the bottom is Sorbet. And that is my favorite color out of all of them, even though it's got that drier texture. Um, so those are pretty colors for summer. Um, like I said, the pink lemonade one really has no color payoff, so stay away from that one unless you absolutely need it because it's really not worth it. Um, they were on sale and I had a coupon, so I didn't waste that much money on them. And my Almay wipes are running out. I have like three backup. These are my favorite, the oil-free Almay makeup remover wipes. All right, so the other ones are the new L'Oreal, oh, what are they called? Just For Me pinks, I think. They're sorted by like skin tone and there's two, um, two colors for each skin tone, but I really didn't pay attention to skin tone. I just got the colors that I liked. There's um, the uh, L'Oreal Le Gloss glosses too, but I didn't get any of those. I just stuck with the um, lipsticks for now. And these, the first one is Ballerina Shoes. Yeah, that's not going to focus. There we go. This one got smooshed in the cap, so pardon its ugly appearance, but this is like a shimmery light pink, and I know I said the older I get, the more I can't stand shimmery lips, but it's like a frosty 80s pink, and I really don't have any of those colors anymore because I got rid of them, but it's really pretty, and I don't know, I just liked it. I don't know how much I'm going to use it, but... A pretty color. Um, what was I gonna say? I had something in mind to say about that color and totally forgot. Uh, and then these other ones, which one should I do first? All right, this one is actually uh, from my grandma because she loves reds. Um, this one's called Raspberry Rush, which isn't pink, and I don't know why that it's not gonna focus. I don't know why they included it in the pinks or whatever, but it looks like this bright hot red. But it's very sheer. It's almost like the Sorbet uh, Revlon Lip Butter. So it's like a, a mellow red, <laughs> I like to describe these as. It would be cool if it was as bright as this. That looks like one of the, the Maybelline Vivids uh, lipsticks. But at any rate, still a pretty color. Let me wipe that one off. And then this one looked so fun, but it's like, it's it's very sheer. It's a lot more sheer than you would think it is. It's called Golden Grape. 
And I got this because I've been liking purple lips lately, but it really, it looks like this deep purple with gold shimmer in it. But watch, it doesn't show up that way at all. It's like, see how hard I'm swatching it and it's still super, super sheer. So that's what it looks like. You can see it has a lot of gold shimmer in it, but it's just not as crazy as I thought it was going to be. Um, and then I saved my favorite one for last. This one is called I Pink You're Cute. And it's like, I don't know, I don't have a pink like this. It's super neon. Well, it doesn't show up like this. It's another one that's sheerer than it looks, but it's like nice bright pink, but on the more neon side. I don't know how to explain that. That's definitely a fun summer pink. So I love that one. Um, these are all, any of you who have L'Oreal lipsticks, they're super creamy. The wear time is really good for a drugstore lipstick. Um, very moisturizing. Like I tried all of these on my lips and even wiping them off it didn't kill my lips like it usually does when you do that with lipstick so these are definitely keepers although the golden grape one was kind of a bummer because it's uh not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be but that's all the new stuff I have um I wanted to get a couple videos filmed tonight while I have time so that I can space them out uploading them so I'm not completely absent while I'm busy this month packing and stuff. Um, but that's it, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.